Huti, Kahir, welcome. Kahir, to you first. How crucial is the private sector in driving African development in climate action? It is incredibly important. We've seen multiple actions from the private sector in Africa, from mitigation to adaptation resilience to just transition. And the role that the private sector is playing is to do it, but also to show how it's done and to push government, to push public sources to do things. And that actually gets things moving faster and more efficiently. And so the role of the private sector ends up being as critical, if not more critical, um, than the role of the public sector in Africa. Could you talk to me, if you would, about how NASPERS is making progress on climate action? NASPERS is making great progress on climate action. I think looking from the time that we came from Sham al-Sheikh in Egypt um, together with the ABLC, it's really been good to see the extent to which we've all could remain committed to achieving our climate action targets. The companies that we as NASPERS are invested in, looking at just some of the entrepreneurs that we have in our group, are really visionary entrepreneurs and they are focused on ensuring that the work that they do is also focused on the communities that we have within our organization and so from that perspective it's not just a portfolio of services but we're ensuring that there's systemic transition towards ensuring that we have a linear economy and so having that partnership with our entrepreneurs is something that's important if i can give you an example take a lot group which is an e-commerce business in South Africa, as an example, is now moving away from using trucks, um, you know, petrol trucks, and they have now moved towards battery-operated trucks, which is something that is so important in terms of ensuring that they are in line with, with climate action. And so, you know, I think further to that, um, in terms of our target setting, um, and we do this in line with the SPTI, um, it is so important that we are able to set our goals in a manner that is pragmatic and, and useful for, for everyone. So looking at our operational emissions, our FY and, you know, our scope one and scope two emissions are going to be absolutely reduced by FY30 um, by, you know, coming from a baseline of FY20. And you're looking at our supply chain emissions, we have undertaken to ensuring that we reduce our air travel emissions. And so by FY30, we have undertaken to ensuring that 30% of the emissions will have been reduced. And then coming down to our portfolio emissions, there we have undertaken to ensuring that all of our companies are undertaking towards ensuring that they have their science-based targets by FY30. And so within the entire organization, we are ensuring that we have everyone being focused on climate action. And we were really, really committed towards ensuring that we can achieve a, a really just uh, transition throughout our organization. So sustainability remains central to your business now and going into the future. Absolutely. It's actually a part of our processes. Um, just even in looking at our investments, um, the manner in which we look at the different organizations that we look to invest in, everything is tied to what we are doing in terms of our climate action. I want to ask both of you now, if you had a call to action to the international community on behalf of frontline workers in Africa, what, what would it be? Kahir? For me, the call to action is to invest in adaptation and resilience. We've done a lot on net zero, and I think we're on the right progress for net zero. That's about the future, but the present is about adaptation and resilience. Make that investment, support private sector, support government on adaptation and resilience. I think for me, what's important is looking at our communities and seeing the extent to which we are really impacting on, on our communities. I mean, these are the people who are the most vulnerable um, within the private sector. And so ensuring that we have that systemic inclusion um, and, and moving away from what we currently have of lack of systemic inclusion is something that's, that's really important to us. Thank you so much. Thank you.